everybody, welcome back to another episode of Hearts. Today on Survival Today, we're returning, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. And today, there are some very angry raiders about to be attacking us. Just thought that uh, you guys should know. And we got my buddy, mercenary Thug Bill, over here to help us deal with our little raider problem. So they should be appearing right about any moment. But I think what we have learned from the raiders being mad and showing up at our base is that you need to exit the map, re enter, and then they should appear we also have plenty of adrenaline here to go ahead and hopefully revive bill because listen this is gonna be a battle if i have ever seen one a mercenary versus the raiders in a defense of our base i'd love to head over to your chopper and maybe in a little bit but first things first oh mama Things are about to get serious. Hopefully me and Billy Boy over here can do a number on these raiders because they will definitely uh, be appearing here any moment now. And uh, I'm kind of horrified for that fact. Bill, it's me and you, buddy. You got 20 bed kits. You should be good to go. Oh, they have appeared. Come on, Billy Boy. Bill, are you not doing anything about this? Hello, Bill, excuse me. Are they shooting my dog? What are they shooting at? I'm, I'm so bamboozled. What were they just shooting at? Bill, do you not attack raiders? Bro, are you kidding me right now? Are they shooting each other? I'm so bamboozled right now. Okay, hold up. It appears that, yes, the raiders are more interested in shooting each other than, uh... Is he shooting himself? I think this raider's shooting himself. Or are they inside of each other? What is going on? Guys, I think the raiders may or may not be a little bit broken or something of the sort. Yeah, just go ahead and, uh... Get stuck into there. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and trap one of you guys because uh, these other two, I don't know what in tarnation they're doing, but YOLO. Granata! At least we managed to take out one of them. Oh, no! Well, at least he's down to loot them. That's, that's all he's going to do. Are you seriously not? There's a raider right there, Bill. Defend me in my honor. I paid you 99 cents for this. And this is how I get treated? God dang it. All right, well, let me just kind of bring his health down just a little bit and as you guys can see just a little experiment with the raiders once they get below 50 health they do actually heal so long story short the only way you're going to be able to take them out is with a weapon that can actually do enough damage to them and uh, one of those main culprits is going to be the granate launcher but we're going to try out something else actually a uh, raider don't go anywhere i'm going to go grab a grenade and see if we can't actually do this with something a little bit different also we got to see dude i'm kind of worried because those raiders were shooting each other um does that mean that they lost a lot of weapon durability and stuff? I'm actually very concerned about that. This might be bad. Their armor durability might be down. There might be a lot of negative effects because of the fact that they decided to go rogue on each other. Also, where did I put my stupid grenades? There we go. We got three of those bad boys. All right. Well, hopefully he didn't escape and freaking jump out of a window or something. Nah, he's still in there. So, uh, hello, Mr. Raider. Okay, question number one. Can I even, like, throw a nade through one of these windows or is this going to backfire tremendously? I suppose we find out today. As a wise man once said, Ya yeet! Oh no! Oh, back it up, baby. Back it up. Actually, that might be able to... Nope, that didn't manage to do it. Um, Okay, maybe if we uh, throw it just right right, right over there. No, that didn't work. Uh, dude, we needed something... Like, we gotta just Kobe that right against that wall over there. There we go. Hopefully that's close enough to cause the damage! God dang it! All right, well, I suppose we can't really know for sure because apparently my guy is not very interested in throwing anything through this window. What if I give it some real velocity? Nope, not happening. Well, there go three of my nades, so Raider. Oh, it, it does work! Let's go! So you guys don't even need... I don't care about you and your friend right now, Bill, okay? You were just not defending me in my honor, so I, I don't appreciate that one bit. Like, these guys, seriously, they will not do anything related to raiders. They won't defend your base. They won't go out on raids. None of that jazz they are interested in. But uh, they're more than down to loot them. Like, check it out, Bill. He's all over that body. Jesus, Bill. Ah, I'm seriously more than happy to take the spoils. Not uh, not help earn them, though. And there you guys can see that we do still get one full, dur full durability VSS. Looks like the SWAT armor is a little bit hurt up. That's probably from us just shooting him. But uh, as you guys can see, that first VSS from the first raider that died, it appears that these raiders, uh, they're, they got to be putting something in the water because no longer are they cooperating. There's literally a raider civil war going on as they are attacking us. So 
Uh, interesting things to say the least, but uh, thank you, Bill, for picking up all of these things. Oh my God, now we picked up the rest of those things. You can keep those things, Bill. I don't, I don't want any of those. I'm just trying to get the good stuff over here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put these things away, and we should have a chopper event. We should be able to hit up before ultimately going to the bunker, which I do want to hit up extra hard since. It is actually Thug Bill's frequent visitor to the bunker. It's me you need then. Apparently, he's a specialist when it comes to taking down the bunker. So, we're going to be doing some of that. But first things first, I'm going to put some stuff away and talk to y'all. And it's like, and we are looking ready to go for today's bunker adventure. But first things first, let's make sure that we actually leave some stuff over here for the raiders to find. And not the raiders that show up and literally attack our base like the, these two dudes, but rather the, oh my god, computer, you good? These two dudes, or three dudes, I don't know. Yo, there's a lot of dead bodies. Did someone extra die? Hold up. Ah, uh, one of those raiders ran away. Oh, that's my old dead body. Okay, that makes sense. I was about to be like, hold up. There's three naked bodies over here. I should only be counting two. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna be heading on over the chopper vent. Hopefully, hasn't despawned yet. If it does, so be it. I suppose we gotta roll with the punches. But there you guys have it. Something that I definitely wanted to. Oh, is it still there? Is it still there? Oh, we gotta get to driving, boy. Woo! the buzzer beater chopper but we also have a revenge raid over there but we left that loot over in that last place or which we call that little pickup truck because then hopefully when we get raided while we are offline they will leave footprints like this because you got to leave a loot offering for them in order for that to happen but in brighter news than the fact that our mercenaries are not even willing to defend our home dude if we left them back at home oh my god oh i just popped up oh my it just ran over my doggo the doggo's joining for today's journey as well except as you guys know the dog loves to apparently just get stuck inside of our motorcycle there we go and we got the whole party we got the whole gang today we got thug bill and lexi coming along lexi i just don't want to get too close because lexi will attack this survivor lexi please don't attack this survivor you're just gonna say something and okay oh yeah yeah good lexi good lexi didn't attack the survivor yet dude the dog the true friend doggo is always ready to attack the survivor and it looks like oh baby it's gonna be a good day to attack the survivor mow them down i do not want these dudes mugging me i'm doing the mugging here me and thug bill we about to run this joint baby mm, give me some of that loot thug bill maybe i'll share some of it with you i don't know we'll see but speaking of loot we also do have some unboxings to do over at bunker alpha so as you guys can see red yellow and green tickets are all going to be coming our way so definitely good stuff in that department we should be getting some good stuff over within these two departments known as the bag and the chopper and from there i don't know i suppose uh, nothing super amazing tbh well i'll leave that behind for the time being actually i'll pick it up for now worst case i could just drop it off at the bunker because we're heading straight to the bunker after this i'm not wasting some energy to go home just to drop off a couple of things like that like don't get me wrong that might be useful to one of y'all but let me just say we got pretty big stockpiles of like oh hello i like what i'm seeing here we got pretty big stockpiles of some of these things back at home so definitely nothing that i am uh super immediately concerned with did any of you guys have water by the way water 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 no water today you kidding me right now and hey, no one got some hydration did you loot the water off them bill uh, he looted some stuff. Jesus, Bill, you just love looting, don't you? This man's a lootaholic. My type of man. But all right, over to the bunker we go. And as we are heading over there, let me know what you guys think about the fact that the mercenaries won't even defend our home. They were not kidding when they said they don't tussle with the raiders. They will not follow you on a raid. They will not help you defend your home against raiders. They will participate in zip, nada, squat, zero of that jazz of it. Oh, dude, I wonder. Oh, you know what I want to test? I wonder if we go to the farm, will they not attack the raiders either? Oh my, that could actually be a very interesting little experiment that I think we might maybe uh, try and go do next episode. But for now, listen, I got Thug Bill for a little bit over here. Listen, his recruitment pitch, literally, this man's recruitment pitch, frequent visitor to the bunker, it's me, you need that. All right, Bill, show your worth. I have decked you out with some valuable things. Actually, give me that. You're not, you don't, no, 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 no. Squeeze me, kind sir. 
You don't need an 8K, okay? I mean, you don't need the VSS. I don't want you wasting that thing's durability. But let's go ahead and toss in the bunker code for today. Oh, nine, one, oh, no, 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 one, six, six is gonna be the code for today. If that's out of date by the time you are trying to put it in, make sure to check that comment section down below. Phone up today version brought to you by the Fan Freak Fantastic community here at the Sniper Gang. And if you are not seeing it down below, you could be the Fan Freak Fantastic Glad Lassie to go ahead and toss it down there and help anyone who might be in need of that mystical sequence of numbers and help them in that time of uh, neediness and stuff like that. I don't know. What I need right now, though, is a healthy serving of hard mode specifically a little person known as the one who is blind and also the, these green and yellow ticket crates so uh as a wise man once said no way me 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 on the green no way me 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 on the yellow no way me no way me no way me what do we got let's go we got a little bit of adrenaline we got some best road drizzle we got some food, and also, like I said, I'm putting these things away. We'll probably come back for them at some point, but listen, there are better things to grab right now than uh, some of these little uh, trinkets and things like that. You know, we got some big picture items like machetes that we need to go ahead and grab for the time being. And also, I think, uh, whatchamacallit, I think our feller over here, Thug Bill. Yeah, within his backpack, he is holding on to some of these fuel canisters already. And dude, can I just say, I'm gonna kind of just recycle uh, some of these things over here. We we don't need these super broken down clothes, Bill. Like, I I wish there was some way. You know what would be awesome? If you could kind of like pick and choose what he actually picks up and loots. Like, if there was like a menu or something you could go through and maybe like enable or like disable. Like, oh, don't pick up like these types of clothes. Or like, don't specifically pick up those boots. Or like, you know, certain items to prioritize over others. I think that that would actually be a really cool mechanic and definitely something that i would personally love to see just like i'd love to see what's within the yellow crate let's go chopper fork uh nice set of military armor that we will toss on while we are down in the depths of the bunker we got some meds and whatnot another gun another ak and things are looking up baby they are looking up. Oh, and we also, of course, had to grab those adrenalines. Um, I suppose I'll leave behind the iron for now. Pick up the aluminum wire. You, my friend, go through the backpack. I will drop off a couple of things for you. Yeah, you can hold on to those. I'll give you some more med kits, buddy. Some more gas to hold on to. Some band-aids. Whatever you need. I got you. And then, of course, we are going to be working our way towards a red ticket crate as well. So, let's begin our deep dive into Bunker Alpha. Floor 3 and to make our way towards the one who is blind. But as we are doing that, like I'm saying, let me know what you guys do think around this whole kind of like mercenary thing as we are kind of finding out more and more about them. Like the fact that they apparently will not help you defend your base. So feels bad. I was definitely banking on them doing that. But uh, yeah, that and just also, you know, if there are any things that you guys would like to see added in, like maybe that idea I was talking about where it's like, yo, pick and choose like what type of items that they loot. I think that that would potentially be something really cool. But any and all that type of jazz, I would absolutely love to hear. In addition to maybe any other crazy things, any specific things, you guys want to see us try and do oh dude he could actually be just like our designated guy to uh pick up these things perfect though my guy dude i could get behind that shouts out to you bill making my life easier i could get behind that i mean dude he, he is pretty nice in that regard he will literally do all the heavy lifting like no longer do we need to <laughs> we're not the ones that need to freaking go about and uh which mccall's kill that thing before it blows up we don't gotta be doing the looting Biller boy over here, he does all the looting for us. Then at the end of the bunker, we, we could just collect all the things from him. So definitely some stuff that I could get behind, just like I could get behind using this mini Uzi to mow them down. No, no, no. Billy boy, Billy boy, get to looting, my man. This is what you excel at. There you go. He already looted that stuff up. Making me proud, baby. Making me proud. Let's get some jerky up in this belly. And let's continue going on through. Should only be a couple more zombies to go. Like, this man's not even getting the chance to shoot them. I'll, I'll, I'll give Bill a chance to prove himself. You know, I've been, do, I, I've been taking a lot of the credit from him. He should. He's, he's the one who told me. He is an expert at this bunker. So I want to see his expertise at play. Also, I want to make sure that he follows us into here as we face the blind one. And as we are doing that, we do also have a very specialized blind one killing weapon of the baseball bat we all know why the baseball bat's super good we also have a little bit of ak-47 kalashnikov action to help us out as well here's what we're gonna do bill i need you to we gotta like inch him forward just to really make sure he does not accidentally get locked out when we enter because that is a thing that can definitely happen 
Hello, are you, are you coming to me? There we go. Oh, baby, yeah, follow me. Woo! Okay, let's just not get backed up into that corner. Yeet! Bleed, blind one, bleed. Bill, please don't be shooting him. I wish, you know what else I wish that they would do? Change his AI so he knows, like, not to shoot right now. Granata! I hope I didn't hit Bill with that grenade. I wish that they would change his AI, though, to the point where, like, he kind of knows not to be shooting him before he hits the wall because right now he's just he's just blowing through my ak man i do not appreciate this bill i thought you were a bunker expert you of all people should know you shouldn't be shooting the blind one before he hits the wall but apparently he knows how to juke the blind one because he does not get hit when that guy runs into a wall and dude holy guacamole talk about some major damage oh no 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 that we are doing i let him get off way too many heals let's make him bleed though and let's finish him off i don't care if we had to do a little bit of unnecessary damage i will take it and oh, apparently bill will be taking all the loot from the blind one for us so thank you bill again doing all the heavy lifting i appreciate it buddy now let's go and see actually i need i need those red tickets from you my man okay there we go i was about to say did, where'd the red tickets go I expected them, like, over there at the bottom. Uh, I'm also using your band-aids. Hope that's cool. Cool? Cool. Very nice. Very nice. I gotta find some water, too. I'm not gonna lie, getting a little bit thirsty, but... Yeah, let me know what you guys think regarding the, you know, mercenaries. Anything having to do with them. Any type of things that you guys would like to see added into them. Any and all that type of jazz in that comment section down below. And a reminder that that comment is gonna put you one third of the way into the weekly trial. Not a, at your touch, please. Store a gift card giveaway. All you gotta do as well is make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe. And that'll enter you in on today's video. Y'all can go ahead and enter in on every single last day on Earth video when Saturday rolls around. We'll pick a random video for the past week. Pick a random comment from that random video. And that will be the winner for the week. And we'll pick off a new weekly giveaway that exact same Saturday as well. So make sure you stay tuned with that notification bell to stay up to date with every single video. Y'all can enter in on for that weekly giveaway. Not to mention all the other dope survival games going up on the channel as well that you should definitely give a look if you haven't already. Especially any new ones that we might be checking out. Because we're checking out games very similar to Last Day on Earth. You know, survival games, mobile games, free games. Like, all in all, mainly a lot of survival. Let's be freaking honest. And... I think you guys definitely will like a lot of those other ones that are going up. And the notification bell is a great way to stay up to date with all the latest and greatest of Last Day on Earth information. As soon as any new type of info does come out about future updates about Last Day on Earth, we're making sure that you guys are in the loop. And let's make sure to collect some of these things and go back into our good armor. And of course, see what we have in the red ticket crate. Let's go! We got... Oh! Ho, ho. We got all the goods today. Hello, Mr. C4. Oh, you are a sight for sore eyes. We have even more SWAT armor. We have so many things that we need to take. I will leave by... Actually, I'm going to try to transfer as many as we can over here into Bill. And as we are doing that, like we are saying... Ah, uh, actually, do you have lenses? No, he doesn't have lenses. I thought he did for some reason. Um, and you know what? Hold on to a couple of these pistols too, Billy boy. And then... And I don't know. Just hold on to them for now. Okay? Okay. Glad that that has been established. Take what else that we can... We'll be taking some of those. Ooh, let's have you hold on to that aluminium as well, big boy. Bless up that you could actually, like, double-click between his backpack and mine. Not like the chopper, dude. You still can't double-click between the chopper, man. Little pet peeve of mine. And uh, we'll put that away. And okie dokie. We're looking pretty good. We could come back for the rest of this jazz. But yeah, the notification bell is a great way to stay up to date with the latest and greatest of Last Day on Earth information. As soon as any type of new info does come out, we're keeping you guys in the loop. We're breaking down that info, connecting it with info already out there to give us the clearest look at the future of Last Day on Earth. What to expect, when to expect it, and of course, when that newness does come in the form of new updates, we are diving absolutely headfirst into those things and showing them off to their fullest extent, such as this mercenary update that is going on right here and right now. And we're also trying to do the craziest things imaginable which is again why if there's anything that you guys specifically do want to see done hello game you good okie dokie guys no clue what that was about apparently my game just crashed as we were getting ready to uh run on home so that's cool beans it's the coolest of beans right there those beans are sub-zero but uh yeah as soon as that new update does come out we're diving head first into it doesn't matter what it is we're checking out new locations new loot new bosses new enemies new anything you name it is getting checked out to the fullest extent imaginable and we're going to be showcasing it off as much as possible and of course have a fan for fantastic time all throughout if there's or anything you guys do want to see such as with these mercenaries just make sure to go ahead and drop those as a suggestion down below in that little thing known as that comment section also we should call them not mercenaries the raiders back in and see if they have any quests for us we actually should have done that before we killed the blind one because there's a chance that maybe they would have wanted the blind one dead so hello raiders is there a chance that you wanted the blind one dead because if so we made a boo-boo. Oh my god, dude. These if there's one thing the mercenaries need to work on, it's how to work a door. These things have never seen a door in their life. And let's see what we got within here. What was that noise? 
Oh my god, everything's just going poorly today, man. Are you kidding me? Nothing's going our way. Last day on Earth crashes. These guys actually wanted the blind one dead. The mercenaries won't defend my honor and my home. Today's just a poopy day. Hopefully you guys are having a better one than me. Hopefully it's way more fan for fantastic than some of the jazz we're dealing with. But so we should have a pretty, hopefully, fan for fantastic raid in store for today. So let's go ahead and start preparing for that. So uh, I will talk to y'all. And, it's like and with everything organized, it is time. Oh my God, Bill, get out. Bill, move, move, Bill. Jesus, these mercenaries. Uh, they, I, mm, they need to learn how to use a doorway before I have an aneurysm, dude. I've never been this close to an aneurysm in my life. Like, don't get me wrong. I love the mercenaries, but they're just door sturpitude is uh, something else. That's all that it could be left out. I don't know, but in brighter news, we got a dope raid that we are heading out on. Sorry, airdrop, you are the literal opposite way of this raid. Uh, to the raid we go! But yeah, whenever any new update does come out, such as the mercenaries, we're always trying to do all that we can. If there's ever anything that you guys specifically want to see done, like I'm saying, I got a loot stockpile. I'm even willing to drop some dollar redos on in-game stuff, any and all that type of jazz to show things off. And you know, if I have to take an L, if I got to do something stupid or dumb to hopefully prevent you guys from doing stuff like that and hopefully you know knowing the correct way to do things moving forward i'm more than down to do that stuff moving forward so uh yeah like i'm saying especially with this update if there's anything you guys want to see with the mercenaries while they are around let me know i'm down to test these guys to the max see what they're capable of see what they're not capable of kind of like you know showing to you guys that hey don't recruit them expecting them to protect your base because uh, <laughs> they won't they definitely will not and it looks like this is a tiny little uh little stone room that we're breaking into so interesting here's the thing revenge raids are usually way better than normal raids at least that's what i've noticed at least our luck has definitely been better from revenge raids so this might be a pretty promising little place that we only got to use like one c4 on so without further ado let's get to tossing it down hello game don't be lagging right now not when i'm putting the c4 down i'm not trying to get caught in that blast Bada bing bada boom. We got five chests the ruse to break into. So without further ado, uh, chop, 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 chop. Let's get to chopping into them and check this out. This raid is going to be perfect for, well, uh, how do I say this? Preserving our weapon durability because, <laughs> oh no. Oh, we're, well, no, we've got, oh no, we've been trapped. Oh, never mind. We're untrapped. Let's go. Uh, we have all of these spikes over here that we could literally just kind of like run around and pretty much the zombies will do the heavy lifting for us by running into the spikes and doing our bidding thank you zombies i appreciate it you are making my life significantly easier i wish thug bill was around to do the same ow and of course i stabbed myself as is tradition <laughs> all right let's see what we got within chest numero uno and ooh, not too shabby we got a couple of semi-decent things. It's a good start. Definitely not a good finish, though. I need more from this base in order for this to be worth it for me. Come on, baby. No way, no way, no way, no way, me. Okay. It's kind of okay, I guess. Anything within chest numero trace? Come on, baby. I know you want to give me something good. Ooh. Okay. I could get behind some of this jazz, please. And thank you. I could actually go and drop off some of that gas into our chopper, too. We got two more chests to go into and probably a workbench or two. We got the next wave of zombies. Oh, we got some oak. 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 Edoki. Ha ha ha. Call me the pun god. That's what I am. Messiah of shotgun rain. God of puns. Oh, I'm about to accidentally die on some spikes too. Master of derpitude. Let's not leave that off from my long list of titles that I proclaim. <laughs> and murderer and slayer of zombies. How do I keep stabbing myself on that, man? I'm literally hugging like the dog pen. And this guy's still somehow running into that. Like, come on, bruv. Come on, bruv. Yeet. Oh, no. Boop. There we go. Let's take him down. Yo, game, you good, bro? You good, dude? Why? What is happening, man? My computer's just been on the fritz today. I sincerely apologize, guys. I, I got no clue why. I've closed out of all my Chrome tabs. There's literally nothing open besides the emulator, but that's just the problem with emulators, dude. Emulators, like, even with my godly PC, trust me, guys, this is a very good PC. It runs everything smoothly, but emulators, man, they're just a whole different beast, apparently, because my computer is literally, like, running an entire Android phone inside of it. That is a very weird thing for a computer to do. Hey, piece of candy. 
Now the candy I'm interested in, no Mr. ATV, unless that was a finished ATV, in which case I'd happily ride that on out of here. And uh, let's see what we got within the woodworking bench. We got a little bit of wood and... Uh, did I not, come on, pick up the wood, boy. Pick up the wood. And uh, I guess we could break into this furnace too. See if this has anything decent. But besides that... What you do? Why, why are there watches in the furnace? Huh? Okay. I'm just going to leave here more bamboozled than I entered it. But uh, so be it, man. I'll take what I could get. Let's go and stash some of these things away into a dead chopper because, as you can see, there are obviously some... Oh, hold on. We got to go grab that oak from the one chest. And we weren't going to leave either, guys. I was just kind of trying to empty out my inventory a little bit. But, uh, dude, 17 oak planks. That's not too shabby, except I think that is, if I'm not mistaken, I don't think we left any oak planks as, like, things for the raiders to steal and us to steal back. I think that's pure profit right there, so... I mean, I, I, I could get behind that. Let's go ahead and fill up that last little bit with that gas. We got the one extra gas there, so be it. We do have that little med kit. No, the med kit. Why are you grabbing the backpack, dude? Come on, man. Think here. Use that noggin of yours. Come on, bro. And what are we going to do? We got to put two more things away. Engine part and that. And then let's just see what we can't fill up our inventory with. Because I don't think, like, there's a furnace or anything here that we could break into either. But, uh, yeah. If there's anything that you guys do want to see us try out the mercenaries, definitely let me know. Because I'm more than down to... Listen, I'm more than down to purchase as many necessaries as... As many mercenaries. Not necessaries. As many mercenaries as we need. Whether that be from the store or from the ones that pop up over at the mercenary camp. Doesn't matter to me. I'm willing to do what is necessary to test things to the max so uh yeah just go ahead and let me know always willing to hear what y'all gotta say and of course best of luck in that 25 dollar i do such play store gift card giveaway but with all of that said with all of that done we just need to fill up our inventory with the rest of what we want here and put away some garbage things like that and uh i mean it's not really gonna be a whole ton for us to take to unfortunately but eh eh i'm gonna chow down on all your carrots hope that's cool we're just trying to figure out, I mean, what we could realistically take out of the rest of this that's kind of worth it. I guess I could take some stone bricks, too. Those could come in handy down the line. But, uh, I mean, yeah, with that said, with that done, let's go ahead and go ahead and pretty much wrap it up for this raid. And subsequently wrap it up for this episode A Last Day. Thank you guys a whole ton for watching. Hub, this was an awesome one. I'll talk to you next one. See ya.